guys, welcome to weekly vlog 117. What are you doing back there? It's Tuesday evening and me and Matthew are going to watch the local fireworks because it is bonfire night. Um, oh, that's what we're going to go and do. I, I've basically just been working all day. I am going out tomorrow though so hopefully it'll be a little bit interesting, more interesting I should say tomorrow. Uh, I'm actually going to get Andy on da. Are you excited? Yeah, we look forward to seeing you in your car. Hopefully you guys have watched last week and you know what I'm talking about. Um, but we're gonna, we're gonna have to go, we're gonna miss the fireworks. It starts in five minutes, it's literally just not even 50 meters away. Uh, so let's go. Look at how old we both look now. We're getting old. It's a silent one this year, like, isn't it? Very quiet. Morning everyone, it's the next day, it's Wednesday. I don't think I got back to you last night, in fact I know I didn't. Also I never normally scrape my hair back like this, but it needs washed and I don't want to be late for picking up my car, so this is what's happening. Um, haven't even had time to put makeup on. I have to pick it up in 50 minutes, so I'm all right at the minute, but I do need to leave soon. If you're watching Roxy, I'm not gonna be late and I'm doing this for you. The fireworks last night was so much quieter than any other year. I think it's like a, it's really good that People are starting to do that. Like I know Sainsbury's is selling only quiet fireworks. I could be wrong. I know when I was in Asda a few weeks ago, they were selling quiet fireworks. And it's really good because it's for all the little animals that get stressed and stuff. So our firework display, it was honestly about 70% quiet than usual with the use of around probably 85% quiet fireworks that you can hear them a little bit but really nothing so it was really good that it was nice and quiet it, it was definitely a very different experience being that quiet but it was definitely more enjoyable because you know when you get those big fireworks and it like hurts your heart your chest so there was only like one like that and it was kind of like right in the middle and then there was no more like that so yeah it was really random anyway it was good so we did that um and then i just had a had a bath because it was cold and then I've just not been sleeping. I think it's a mix between stress. If you watched last week, you'll know why. Having a bit of a car issue at the minute. Since Monday night, I have just been lying in bed wide awake till like three o'clock in the morning. I don't know what's wrong. Well, I do. It's, it's, it's stress, but it's a mix of hormones as well. Um, it's that almost that time of the month and my hormones can get, make me feel very restless right before mother nature visits and i just get agitated and i don't sleep and i'm in a really weird mood i was up early i've been going to bed at like three in the morning like yeah it's just my hormones it's a bit blah but anyway positive thinking so i've just been on the phone for almost an hour to the car insurance people i need to be quick but basically car insurance man honestly so my car insurance i pay for monthly it's just what i prefer to do i got a new quote for my new car and it was going to put my car insurance down by four pound a month it's not a lot but it's great uh, i've been driving almost 10 years so my car insurance is pretty good anyway now not like when i started lord don't even <laughs> don't even ask me so i rang them up and i was like i want to change my car and then he put my new car details in and he was like it's 10 pound more a month and i was like how can it be 10 pound when your website online says it's four pound cheaper a month and he was like oh that's for new customers and i was like eh that, does, that, ugh, that makes no sense and he was like it's 35 pound to change your car or it's 10 pound to cancel your policy and take out a new one so i was like i'll cancel my policy please so i don't know what he did but he accidentally charged me another month's car insurance so he's having to refund that and it'll take two days and he forgot to charge me for cancelling so i'm not actually getting charged for cancelling so i don't really know what happened there anyway so my new policy in the end it didn't end up being four pound cheaper it ended up coming out pretty much the same but then i seen that you could add on breakdown and when i was starting to drive i always used to add on breakdown and um, i just really like having peace of mind and having breakdown and i haven't had it for the past year because it expired and then it was really expensive because we had bought it on offer, not through our insurance. Me and Matthew had got it as a wolf owl cars. And to renew it was like hundreds of pounds. So I was like, I'm not paying that. So anyway, I always just leave my car insurance for the last couple of years to just renew because it's pretty much always the same price. I'm at that point of my driving life. So anyway, now that I was in new policy, I added my breakdown back on so i don't know if this is interesting or anything but i like talking about it so i've got breakdown now so now my car insurance is 
three pound more a month, but I have breakdown. So I'm happy with that. Three pound a month for breakdown is fine. So I've got breakdown. So it's time to get my new car. If you haven't watched last week's weekly vlog, my old car, Christina, needs more work doing to her than she is worth, bless her. I've been very stressed about it. Like, I don't have money to go and buy a new car. It's very like, oh my God. And in the end, me and Matthew came to the decision and I have got a car on finance. She's called Andy, she's a Fiat 500, she's burgundy. I'm actually losing my voice because I'm so like, ugh. And uh, she's four years old. She's got like really low mileage. Like I'm so, it's very bittersweet. Like I'm so excited, but at the same time, it's all very scary because I've never had a car like this before. My cars have always been really cheap, really old, touch and go. I have 20 pound a year tax. What is that? My tax is normally like 160, 180 pound a year. Uh, Cause I always like, really have really old cars. So this is crazy. So anyway, I'm gonna go pick up Andy. I'm really excited. I've decided I'm still not gonna put anything on my Instagram stories today when I pick her up because I really just don't want people to get the wrong impression with you guys. I can like talk to you about it. And you guys were so lovely last week. Uh, the messages and the comments I got saying like, do not, do not be ashamed of showing your car. Like you're not show off. And it's, it's really nice to see that you guys really did understand the situation. So I really, really appreciate all the love because I've been so stressed about it. To add to the stress, I've been worried about that. Um, so yeah, it's absolutely great that you guys are really supportive. So I'm probably just gonna get like a nice picture with that and do like a little bit of a thing on Instagram over the weekend. For now, I just wanna keep it on my YouTube, on my weekly vlogs, like on my YouTube. And then I can watch this back as well and be like, that's when I got my car. Whereas on Instagram stories, it disappears after 24 hours, right? I have to leave to get my car in 40 minutes now. Um, and I just need to do a few last things. I'm just gathering together the documents. I've got most of them, I did it last night. I just need a few more. I haven't told Christine yet, my old car. And notice how I'm actually like lowering my voice. I'm probably gonna cry, I'm not gonna lie. I was thinking about handing that over last night and I'm probably gonna cry. I've really, oh I am, I'm getting emotional. I've really bonded with Christina and I, I called my, she, it's a Ford Fiesta, she's like 15. I can never remember if she's 14, 15 or 16. She's old and she's fallen apart and I, I named her after Christina Aguilera and she's done me proud, she has, but she's seen better days. So uh, I'm so nervous to, I feel so bad like dropping her off at that garage and leaving her then just being like, I don't know what's gonna happen to you. I don't know if they're gonna do her up and sell her on. I don't know if they're gonna scrap her. I've got no idea. She needs a lot of work doing that. And I just feel so bad because I can't even like tell her like, I sound crazy don't I talking to my car. Right, I need to go before I'm late and go and pick up my car, I'm so nervous. And I'm gonna go around my Nana's as well because my Nana wants to see my new car. Um, and then I'm gonna come home because I've actually got a lot of work to do. So unfortunately I can't play now all day but I am gonna have a nice drive home which is about a 30 minute drive and get to Noah and then I've gotta get on with some work this afternoon. So let's go before I'm late. <laughs> I feel so bad right now. Honestly, feel like oh, honestly, feel like someone's like ripping my heart out. Oh man, I don't know how I'm gonna tell her. Woo. So I'm just waiting for them to bring my car around, and that little silver Ford Fiesta is Christina. Bye, Christina. I'm gonna miss you forever. I cried so much when um, I was driving down the A1. I'm not even joking, like I bawled like a baby. Um, I've just signed all the papers and I'm waiting, waiting for them to bring my car around. And if anyone wonders, this is where I got my car from. And Mardi was the guy that helped me and he's absolutely lovely. So definitely come and ask for Mardi if you come here. I'm in my new car. You can see there, 500. Oh my god, this is so surreal. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm in my new car. Um, this is so crazy. I've just drove her home. As I suspected, I cried the whole way there. I will cry again if I talk about it, but basically I was just really upset. Woo! Saying bye to Christina. Oh my god, crazy look at look at my eyes. Look look how much of a mess I am. Craziest little story. I was telling Christina, I was I was driving down and I was telling her what was happening. I know I'm crazy and people might think I'm sad, but I love that car. So I was telling her what was happening and I took everything out of the car apart from the C D in the C D player and I didn't realise I kind of forgot one was in there and then I went to put some music on like I always do and I was like, Oh I left a CD and I need to remember to take that out. 
I took the CD out to see what it was and it was Christina Aguilera. I was like, are you kidding me? Because she's named after Christina Aguilera. So I put it in and I was like, let's listen to one more song together. And it spat out. The car spat the CD out. I was like, okay. Now that was weird. And then I put it back in again and it spat out again. And I was like, oh my God, Christina, like, what are you doing? And then I put it in and I was like, please, Christina, like, I don't want to fight with you. And then she spat out again and I started crying. I was like, oh my God, she's so mad at me. I was like, I'm sorry. I was like, I have to take you in. I need a dependable car. And I started crying and I put it in and it played. How crazy is that? Oh, so yeah, basically I cried the whole way there. Woo! Woo! I just felt really bad and I really loved that car. Um, I mean, you can tell I've been crying, I think. So yeah, anyway, I went in. I was... <sighs> Matthew took my car key... Uh, took my front door keys and his front door keys. So I had to crawl through the garage, Serlo HQ. So I've locked the front door from the inside and I was going to go around the back gate and apparently that's now locked with a padlock. Don't know when that happened. So I'm going to have to ask Matthew about that. So in the end, I had to go through the garage, which isn't even attached to the house, to make sure the, the house was locked and out of the front of the garage. And honestly, so I ended up being late. Only 12 minutes, but that's Matthew's fault. Because that's about how long it took me to faff on realising that I couldn't get... Never mind. Anyway, so I was a little bit late, but he was fine. He's really laid back. I recorded on my phone while I was there. They know I'm a blogger. They were really nice about it. They were asking about it. After I finished all the paperwork, the manager of the whole place came over and shook my hand and was like, thank you for coming here. And they were just really nice. They were really canny. Um, it sounds crazy, but I'm kind of looking forward to actually ever needing to get like service or MOT because one, it's included, and two, I go there, and they're really canny, and you get free tea, free coffee, free like there's like biscuits and things, and there's a nice waiting area. Like, it's actually a really nice place. So I'm kind of ready for this part of my car life. Like, I'm sick of always having to like be like, where do I take my car? And they're just having me on, and yeah. So. And this is honestly not sponsored. They didn't ask me to go there. It's nothing to do with them. But if you do need a car on, you can buy it or on finance. Personally, I am dealing with Marty at On The Clock Bertley. And they've really looked after me and just feel me really comfortable. Um, anything I need for the car, just give them a ring. I learned to drive in a Fiat 500. I stalled every single lesson and both of my tests because the clutch is really high. So I expected that. He made sure I was okay with driving it. He took me down to get petrol. They put petrol in for me for a month. Uh, that was included. And yeah, um, he took me up and down some hills and stuff to get used to it. And I was like, yep, absolutely fine. Like, don't get me wrong. Uh, the clutch is crazy and I've been over revving and my ankle hurts, but I will get used to that. I expected it. So... Yeah, it's been a bit crazy. It's been like crying and a bit nervous, but we are finally in my car. I'm home and I'm already just blown away. She's now that I'm already starting to get used to her because I do, I do live about 40 miles away from that car place. So it was a uh, 40 minutes away drive. So it was a bit of a drive. Um, I'm already like, I'm gonna really like driving this car once I get used to her. Like she's really smooth. Oh my God. E e e within seconds put my phone into the car and I was playing music through my phone. I know to some people that might be normal, but I can literally listen to anything I want. I'm like, whoa, this is crazy. Cause I listen to music all the time. I was like, this is insane. Like I had my music on. Oh man, this is so cool. Um, I'm still a bit kind of like in shock and a bit like, whoa, this is crazy. This is my car. But also I'm like, I'm, I'm ready for this. It's going to take some getting used to and I'm still a little bit kind of like overwhelmed. I mean, I'm overwhelmed by the whole, I mean, there's things on my steering wheel. I can press buttons on my steering wheel. She has stops. She has start stop technology. She has a city button. I haven't tried the rear sensors yet um, because I haven't reversed yet. But honestly, this is crazy. I've got like butterflies. Um, yeah. I'm going to have a good look round her and just enjoy it. And then I have to go and get on with some work. And I'm also starving and I don't want to get a headache. Um, honestly, this is crazy. Like, I'm going to show you the interior now. And also before anybody says, because Matthew pointed it out and my heart sank. And I was like, uh-oh, but it's okay. This, this part, so the top part of the seats. Look at the seats! Oh, she's so delicious. Yeah, um, the top part of the seats looks like leather and I was like gutted because I was like, personally, I 
I mean, it's hard, isn't it? Because it's a second-hand car, so it's not new. I haven't picked the interior. That's what comes on this model. This is the colour that I wanted. So Matthew was like, when we were looking at it the first time, like, uh-oh, like, is that leather? Because you guys know I eat plant-based. I'm not perfect, but I do try not to buy animal products and stuff like that. So I don't really want leather in my car. Honestly, didn't even think about it. Uh, Matthew pointed out. But it's okay, it is not leather. Uh, this model is leatherette, which is a type of luxury for leather, which just proves how even more perfect for me she is. And actually the headrest, the headrest is a type of plastic, even though it looks leathery. Uh, and then this is leatherette. When you feel it, you can't actually tell that it's not leather, but it, it looks like leather. Oh, she's so pretty. So I'm absolutely chuffed. I, my heart proper sank. I was like, people are gonna rip me for having leather in my car. Just sometimes on well, the the vegan police online can be quite brutal. Um, like sorry to go into that, but it did really worry me. I was like, I'm already stressing about this car so much, but I'm not just saying this. If you're really that bothered and you want to have a go at me, look online. This car is not leather interior. Thank goodness. I'm so chuffed. Oh my god, I've got four. I've got four cup holders. Sorry, I had one cup holder in my last one, and it was right next to the gear stick, so I could never use it. This is insane. Okay, I'm gonna show you her, the dashboard. It's so pretty. And also, I didn't wanna come across rude there, but the only reason I'm pointing out that that's not leather is because somebody will have a go and it's just like, don't even bother. I already thought about it. I don't wanna make it sound like I'm showing off or anything. It's nothing like that. It's just, you guys were so lovely last week and so many of you are like, I wanna see the car, I wanna see the interior and stuff. So I just thought I'd get out the car. I'm trying not to shout because I'm on my driveway now. But look how pretty she is like i'm really trying not to i don't want to rub it in or anything i'm not trying to be like a show off but honestly i've never had a car like this like look isn't she just like i'll try and explain my, my thoughts so you guys know how i love checks this is like a really beautiful coat and you guys know i'm all about my coat so that was one of the things i loved about the seats and then especially with this being oh, like half full leather i just think it's so chic and then it matches the steering wheel and look at the colour so you can see the colour of the car and so I, like, I love burgundy like honestly I'm so chuffed I'm so happy oh my god I'm so happy right I'm gonna um I'm gonna go inside and get some lunch and I will catch up with you guys in a bit but I just wanted to show you her like oh I'm so excited look at her let's close her um is that fluff off me I've already got fluff on it what am I like is that off me I haven't got anything purple on right there we go right so I'll probably blur out the registration plate because obviously that's not safe to put online, but this is Andy, guys, and I'm so happy. She's definitely darker in person. She's more like a, a deep burgundy in person. Um, oh, I'm so happy. I can't believe this is my car. Look at her. Oh my God. Right, I need to stop staring at that. Right, I'm going to go in. Good evening everyone. I think the last time I spoke to you was actually yesterday, so it's Thursday now. Um oh yeah, I basically had to I think I had time lapse me doing my makeup and then I was recording a video for Zabby, the released new dark arts collection. Oh actually, it's still available when you watch this, but it's only available for seven days. So if anyone is interested in Harry Potter Dark Arts clothing, um I'll leave a link below. Um it is an affiliate link and I have a code which is also an affiliate code and it is SLPHP20 and you get 20% off. It's actually a really nice range. Hopefully you've seen my Instagram video. Um, they sent me a Dementors top, you know who top and the Dark Arts Mark top, uh, jumper. It's a really nice range and obviously you guys know I'm sl Slytherin so much enjoyed that. So I was doing that and then I had my exercise class which I'm still not filming at and I'm leaving anyway. Um, going to a new one soon. And yeah, I've been working all Day. It's been a bit of a stressful day, but in a good way. So basically, I've been setting up the Facebook page for my next SLPX DLP trip. Um, and there was so much information to put on there for all the trip goers. And I've literally been doing it since this morning. And it's now nearly five to seven and I'm about to Twitch stream. So not too much of interest to show you guys today. I'm going to time lapse with Twitch streaming just in case anyone's interested. And then tomorrow me and Kelly are going out. So it's going to be really fun. We're going to do... um shop with me videos so i'm looking forward to doing them so there'll be plenty to show you guys tomorrow even though i am recording for the shop with me videos i'll still record for you obviously because this week's been not too much going on apart from my car um it was really nice to drive my car again last night uh obviously i had to drive it to my 
exercise class and that was different um, but I'm already really getting used to it um, I didn't have any problems so yeah right I'm gonna twitch stream because I've only got five minutes and I need a cup of tea and if I don't get back to you guys after the stream because it'll be like after nine and then I'll be back on the Facebook making sure everything's okay we're currently allocating rooms to everybody on the trip and then uh, yeah I'll probably speak to you guys in the morning so I stupidly forgot to press time lapse so I have actually twitch stream now um, it's quite late, it's 25 to 12 and I don't know why I'm still up because I have an exercise class at 9 o'clock in the morning So I'm gonna get to bed and yeah, I will see you guys in the morning I won't take you to my gym Also thank you to everyone that joined in that Twitch stream because it was actually really fun Even though we basically got no gameplay done because we're at a really hard hard part trying to kill um, Dark Aqua But it was fun, the chat was really good <laughs> So this is YouTube. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am um, doing a little shop with me video today. I'm here with my good friend Kelly. Just loads of Christmas jumpers, isn't it? So we haven't even spotted that much Disney clothes. We've been all around this side already and there's just no Disney clothes. But there's absolutely loads of Disney homeware. I don't know if I like the colour on top of the bobble. Yeah, I was on pink. Ooh, oh yeah, we already seen that at the beginning of the store, yeah, didn't like we? Yeah, I like that. That's the same as the black one beginning of the store but for some reason i really like this one not you, for me you don't like no. that. I like that. oh i'm shiny shiny but not sweaty but not sweaty so it's actually all oh, this music so i'm gonna have to be really quick because i'll get copyrighted oh. what day is it yeah it's friday i haven't spoke to you guys yet i think i've recorded the odd thing uh, but me and kelly are out shopping aren't we we've just done three videos in primark i am tired <laughs> we did good yes. definitely did good um, yeah it is, we'll have to put something under it. Um, but we're gonna have some Frankie and Benny's now and I need to stop talking or I'm gonna get copyrighted. Oh that looks so good. Oh yes. There's no Gryffindor one unless it's around the other side. That is a nice bag. How much is it? It's nice. I'm just a new look and look at this. $24.99. It's so nice. Sorry, that's in the way. But go like that. There. Ooh. Oh no, the store shouldn't. I need to hurry up and get out. <laughs> I really, really like these boots. New look. It's weird. It says vegan on them. Twenty four ninety nine vegan. They're absolutely delicious. Matching bag as well. I'm waiting for Kelly. I think she's gone to the till. <laughs> oh no, it's gone all overcast. Stop overcasting. Take that off. Don't worry. Hey, Dan. It's weird, dear. I know. Two minutes. Oh. Hey. Why do you look oh. so tall? So I take oh. my t-shirt off. Because I was slouching. So I take my t-shirt off, do you think? Are you asking them or me? No, you. No, it looks fine. But it's like a big black ring around my neck. What's that it? you've got? Graffy. But what is it in? In a rock bags travel mug. Available now for a limited time only. You're funny. What day is it today? Today is the 9th of November. Our anniversary. <laughs> oh, 13 Matthew. years it's been, together. It's, has it been a long 13 years? I've aged a bit. No, I think you've aged well. Do you think you look much different? Uh, yeah. I think you look... I think I look more and more like my mum. <laughs> I think you look more like an adult. You don't yeah. look old, whereas I think I just lost my chuts. Look, here's a picture of us when we were like 17. Nice. There is a picture of me, Matthew. Look at that hair. Uh, probably... I can't remember if that was like seven months in our relationship or a year and seven months in our relationship. 
but it was the first time we went to download. Yeah, 2006. Oh, yeah, it will have been then. So we'll probably... No, not 2006. Well, we started going out in November and downloads June. Six, seven. So we've been going out about eight months there. Yeah. You're so cute! Look at you, little, you little fro. You got a little fro. And then, uh, this is us 13 years later. Do this face, do the same face. <laughs> okay. What am I doing? You're kind of, you're kind of on my shoulder. No, you're doing anything. Like no. that. And then you're like... And I'm like... <laughs> oh, anyway, we haven't really got any plans, have we? Not really. Matthew started his new job and I've been stressing and busy. So we're literally just gonna go out for lunch, aren't we? We're not really, uh, not really massively celebrating this one. And I've also just been hit by Mother Nature. So I'm in slower labour right now. But we're gonna go out for lunch to my favourite garden centre. We haven't been there for a while. No, we not Should we go out before it gets any later? It's quarter yes. to two. Let's go. Let's go in my car. Yes, let's go in Andy. I'm excited, let's go. She's filling up Andy for the first time. There she is. She's not idea. I don't know how much she's putting in, but let's see how she does. Oh, she must be going for the big 20. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Let's see her reaction. I'm a pro, me. Really? Can you not just wait? Touch my car! And I will! Have my vengeance. I'm calm, I just don't like touch it. people touching my new car. That uh, petrol thing's a bit fiddly like, but I managed. Okay. You've got to like, twist it to twist it to twist it. It's bizarre. It's proper like, secure. If that makes any sense. Never mind. <laughs> That's not real. <laughs> Pink one. I like how I literally have star fast on me and I'm freaking out. It's one thing I don't like in, in the world and it's snakes. I can't, I just, oh. Look at the size of his head though. That one over there, we were reading, eats dogs. It eats dogs. That's not right. it's actually monday i did not record on saturday evening when we got in i was actually i think i mentioned because i just like to be honest i think i mentioned on saturday that mother nature hit me and you guys probably have gathered from watching me if you've watched me for a while that i get bad mother nature visits so on saturday night i was just in a lot of pain um i just went to bed early and then yesterday i twitch streamed and then i spent all day 
working on the sofa on the laptop just in pain like i have in so much pain right now like i've got my hot water bottle now where is it <laughs> see hot water bottle so um yeah it's just a bad one it's just it's it's always a bad one though isn't it so it's just another another month another visit from mother nature so yeah i wasn't on the laptop all day working yesterday not really doing anything interesting what was i doing oh i was doing more like slp xdlp stuff um like like finalizing like the room allocations and stuff and yeah just stuff like that so apologies that i didn't record but uh yeah i just didn't feel very good at all uh, and it's now monday and i'm doing the weekly vlog so i will be getting up my shop with me videos on wednesday this week so look out for those coming up on my channel me and kelly actually managed to do three and from now on the plan is to do the weekly vlog on a monday like i haven't finalized my schedule i really want to get like a new planner and like a day planner and like um i really want to be more organized for a lot of things i think i've mentioned this i'm not really sure but um, like I feel like I missed Halloween and I don't want to miss like Christmas videos so I really want like a weekly and monthly planner for next year so I can plan when I need to record things for seasons that they get done on time so right now I need to be recording Christmas content um, so yeah stuff like that so I really want to get, be more organised and from now on hopefully on a Tuesday I will be going to the shops and doing a little shop with me video which I will then edit and should go up every Wednesday. That is the plan. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do it every week or if I'm going to do it every two weeks. I don't really know yet. So I also want to do like a one for Instagram IGTV and also one for my YouTube every week. So on Friday, me and Kelly went to Primark and I recorded two for YouTube and one for Instagram. So if I go every two weeks, like I don't know, do I just do I just upload a shop with me video every two weeks or do I go every two weeks and record four videos while I'm out at the shops and still upload them every week but only go to the shop every two weeks? Like, I don't know, like how often do you guys want a shop with me video? Like, do you want one every week? Um, I don't know. The other thing is, is on Friday I recorded three videos. I did two for YouTube and only one for Instagram IGTV. Um, we did three in Primark. We did a Harry Potter one, we did a Disney one and then we did a general fashion one. And I'm going to upload the YouTube and the IGTV one every week at the same time. So if I do that, I only recorded three videos and technically I would need four and yeah I don't really know what I'm doing yet but I'm trying to be a bit better with when I upload and more of a schedule so let me guys know if you have any ideas if that makes any sense like do you guys want a shop with me video every week if you do want one like every week then I'm still gonna have to go out next Tuesday and do at least one because I only have one spare if that makes sense for next week but I have a Disney one that's my phone going off. I have a Disney one going up on YouTube on Wednesday and a Harry Potter one going up on my IGTV on Wednesday as well. They'll both go up at the same time. That's what I've decided I'm going to do. The other thing is as well, I'm not quite sure on which shops I can record in yet. Me and Kelly actually recorded the videos on Friday instead of Tuesday like I'm going to, so tomorrow. Um, because one, Kelly normally works, but she had Friday off, so it was nice to have her help. Normally, I'm just going to be recording the shop with me videos on my own from now on, unless somebody is free to help me. And then the other thing is as well that tomorrow I can't go to the shops and do it because I'm actually off to Manchester to see Christina Aguilera. So we had to record the shop with me videos on Fridays. That's why they're already done. So yeah, I actually booked to see Christina Aguilera well before my car died. In fact, I'm pretty sure I booked to see Christina Aguilera before me and Matthew even booked Disney World. Um, so like I saved up because I, like she hasn't done a UK tour in like 13 years. She's one of my all time faves. I mean, my last car, Christina, who just died, she was named after Christina Aguilera. Like I just love Christina Aguilera. So me and Kelly are gonna go see Christina Aguilera in Manchester tomorrow. Um, I'm so excited. Obviously I'm gonna vlog it all. Obviously I will get copyrighted so I can't like record the whole thing. But we're gonna go shopping and things. I mean, I could record another shop with me video while I'm in Manchester with Kelly tomorrow. I will have to say, I've never recorded like full on in shops in Manchester, so I don't know how that would go. Like, I don't know if their rules are different. It is into the shopping centre, like Manchester, like Metro Centre. So, anyway, anyway, I'm thinking out loud. So, I need to get all of these videos edited and done. Like, I need to get the weekly vlog done. Um, I have other work to do today. Um, I need to get all of the Shop With Me videos edited and ready to go up on YouTube for Wednesday because I won't be back till late on Wednesday night. So, hopefully, I get all that done today. I just want to say now, like, a huge thank you to everyone. The support that I got on, like, getting my new car, uh, well, 
new new car to me my new car um andy has been unreal um like i said i was really worried about it for many reasons like one it's stressful when you're in that situation like i've been in that situation before and it just brought back really bad memories like not being able to afford to get a car not being able to fix my car like having a car is amazing and can really like give you independence and stuff but at the same time it's very stressful uh when you can't afford to you know have a nice like have a decent car and, and look after your car and stuff so it was just very stressful because i've dealt with that a lot in the past like i've had a lot of cars I've never been able to really buy myself a decent car um so i'm feeling good like obviously i'm still like i have to be able to keep up the payments and stuff like you know adulting um but i wouldn't have took it out if that was the case like i didn't go and get a stupid big car that i can't afford um honestly i'm so chuffed with that and also i was stressed because i didn't want it to come across as bragging like i didn't want people to be like like i didn't put it on my instagram stories because i didn't want people to think like oh look she's going car shopping and showing off and like it really wasn't like that at all if anything shopping for a new car should be a lovely experience but for me it was just really stressful um it's all worked out in the end though and i am really happy with that it's just one of those like i said bittersweet situations one heck of a ride the last few weeks since that car got the nail since christina got our nail in our tire and ugh. but hopefully it's all sorted now and um, me and matthew like took the car down to that was lanchester garden center we were at on saturday for our anniversary we like love going there if you've watched my weekly vlogs you'll know for a a while now we've been going there thank you again for being so so supportive about my car i put up my instagram post last night i put up a picture with andy and i was so nervous the amount of support for me getting that car is unreal like i can't believe how nice everyone's been i was so worried about it and yeah like everybody's been so nice and just really seen it for how it is and not showing off and i'm just so like you guys are amazing like i was reading it i was like this is what i love about online we really do have like this really nice little community you guys are just so supportive and it just made me it made me want to like share more like a lot of people were saying you should you should talk more about like real life experiences hang on there's someone at the door sorry about that the mailman dropped off a package and then i got called so i put my dressing gown on um yeah so i can't remember what i was talking about but basically i just wanted to say a huge thank you to everyone for being so unbelievably supportive about my car because i was so worried about it yeah it was just really nice to see how, like all the support like on youtube and on instagram like the support on that instagram post is unbelievable anyway i'm gonna stop blabbing because i've been talking for a really long time and i have a lot of work to do before i go away tomorrow thank you so much for watching this weekly vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you in the next one bye guys